Speedy Egbert is one of those games that has been greatly forgotten over the years. I've never heard anybody else on YouTube talk about this game before, and that really surprises me because this game was pretty much everywhere for me growing up. The publisher, eGames, put this game out everywhere on almost every single one of their other games. This right here is my personal collection of eGames PC games. And guess how many of these games include Speedy Eggbert on them? eGames Kid Pack contains Speedy Eggbert. eGames Arcade Multi Pack contains Speedy Eggbert. Even their mini golf game contains a demo for Speedy Eggbert. And Entertainment Suite 2 actually contains two copies of Speedy Eggbert on the same disc. It contains the full version of the game, but it also features another copy on the game Galaxy of 100 Games. The reason I bring this up is because eGames published a bunch of games, and probably on a lot more of their games, Speedy Eggbird is also included. For a game that's been distributed so many times and in so many different ways, it surprises me how forgotten this game is. This game is the most popular game in the Bluffy franchise. This is because he was originally called Speedy Bluppy. But the people at eGames changed it to Speedy Eggbert because they thought it would sell better. The Bluppy franchise has a ton of its own games like Planet Bluppy, Bluppy Mania, and Bluppy Explorer, just to name a few. This game was developed by Epsitech and was published by eGames, and it was released on September 13th, 1990. This game also had a sequel, which came out November 23rd, 2001. The cool thing about Speedy Eggbert and the entire Bluffy franchise is that it is all free right now on Bluffy.org. Speedy Eggbert is a side-scrolling platformer with some unique controls. It does not contain any momentum-based mechanics when it comes to jumping. And when you jump, you have three jumps to choose from. A short jump, a medium jump, and a high jump. The game contains a ton of different enemies, but unlike Mario, Speedy Eggbert can't just jump on the enemies' heads to defeat them. Although you can defeat some of the enemies with power-ups, but these don't come up too often. The most interesting power-up in the game is the helicopter, because this completely changes how Speedy Eggbert moves. The goal of the game is to collect all the treasure chests in the level and make it to the goal. Speedy Eggbert doesn't contain any story either, so it never really tells you why he's collecting the treasure chest or anything like that. There are six different worlds that all feature different types of blocks. There's the rocks, house, tech, mechanical, dream, and kid stuff. Because of the different blocks, music, and backdrops, there is a lot of variety when it comes to the levels, more than you'd expect for a game that came out in 1998. This game also includes a level creator, and this level creator is actually really impressive. It seems like the whole single player game was made with this exact same level editor. I remember as a kid sinking hours into this level editor and making my own levels. Another cool thing about Speedy Eggbert is that it contains a save feature that is pretty much just like a save state. At any time, the game can be saved and it'll save your exact positioning. Although this feature is nice, it wouldn't be used that much because Speedy Eggbert is an incredibly easy game. The game uses eggs as extra lives and is extremely generous with them. When I was recording footage for this video, I actually had a lot of fun with this game. One of the most useful features is at any time you can press F6 and make the game run at double speed. This is such a cool addition to this game, and it can add a bunch of extra difficulty, and it also can just make the slow portions of the game go by much faster. This game also had a good variety of music tracks, and some of them are really good. This one in particular is one of my favorites, it's always reminded me of Seinfeld. Although I never got to experience this game mode as a child, Speedy Eggbert actually had multiplayer, but you had to use multiple PCs to get it to work. I tried this multiplayer mode with a friend recently, and it was actually pretty fun. This game actually has a small speedrunning community also, with some pretty neat tricks that Speedy Eggbert can perform. Also, because of the way that the game's files are set up, this game is incredibly easy to mod, so there's already a lot of cool Speedy Eggbert mods that are out there. Overall, I definitely still would recommend this game. It is totally free if you want to download it and try it out yourself. I've never seen anybody else talk about this game before, so I really wanted to make a video about it. Thank you guys for checking out this video, 
And if you'd like to see me review more obscure games in the future, let me know in the comments down below. And I hope that you guys all have a great day.